Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video, I would like to show you how to use and customize a shared project file in Cricut Design Space. In this video, I am using a shared project file that I created and shared on the Birch Cottage blog. I will leave a link to it below in the description. Here I'm on the Birch Cottage blog and I'm going to click on the link for the shared project file for these Valentine known a new tab will open in my browser. I'm going to click on the open tab to open Cricut to Design Space. And then the project details page will open up in Cricut Design Space. From here, I can see the images that are used and a little description of the project. And then I'm just going to click on customize so I can show you how to customize or edit this project file. Once you click on customize, the project opens up in Cricut Design Space. And you can see that I have attached all the hearts and I've attached all the gnomes into two uh, folders or two attachments, I guess. You can simply select them all um, and resize them. Uh, you can hide elements that you don't want to use, such as maybe you only want to use two gnomes. You can hide those. Um, you can do anything with this project file that you can do with any other project file in Cricut Design Space. I can add some text. And if you notice the gnome on the left that has the red heart in the middle, that heart is key to helping you align these layers up because we're going to have a black layer of vinyl and we're going to have a red layer of vinyl. And so when you go to do your vinyl transfer or heat transfer vinyl or cut your vinyl, and then when you go to a layer of those layers of vinyl, you're going to use that as a guide for placing your hearts on top of your gnomes. It will line up perfectly. You'll see what I mean when you try to do it. So here I've just added some text to my gnomes. Be my valentine. Get it centered. I'm going to change the color to be red to match my hearts. And then I'm going to attach my text to my hearts so they all print on or so they all cut on the same red vinyl. I'm actually going to use heat transfer vinyl for this project. You can use um, permanent vinyl, temporary vinyl, whatever you would like. So here's my gnomes all on my black mat ready to be cut out. And here are my hearts and my Be My Valentine. Remember that big heart on the left? That's what you're gonna to use to line up your hearts on top of your gnomes when you go to layer the vinyl. So aren't they adorable? See, I'm turning the red heart off and on that layer so you can see what I'm talking about. There is a line of an outline of a heart there and you're gonna use that to line this up just perfectly. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you. Be sure to like it if it was, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and be sure to come visit me on the Birch Cottage blog and subscribe to my newsletter so you can have access to the subscribers resource library and all the great craft ideas and family-friendly recipes that I share there. Thank you so much.